And I called the meeting to order. Would you do the roll call, please, ma'am? Good evening. Roll call for a special call meeting, July 10th. Council Member Ryle. Present. Council Member Gons. Present. Council Member Willis. Present and in the queue to be recognized. Council Member Gilliard. Council Member Reeves. Count of four. Council Member Klee. Council Member Downs. Present. Council Member Willis. Somebody has their. You recognize. Council Member Baker. Present. You okay. have a quorum. Okay, thank you so much. I am looking at the request to speak on the queue, and the chair acknowledges Council Member Willis. Um, thank you for recognizing me. Uh, first of all, I would like to um, extend my, um, explain my absence. My absence for the last meeting when we discussed this and I didn't get a chance to uh, ask my questions, which I'm going to ask today, um, was because I uh, helped organize COVID testing and we successfully tested over 600 residents. Plus, we addressed their food insecurities. Um, and gave them um, Hosea help bags with the 24 hour notice of this meeting. Um, I was not going to uh, rearrange my schedule um, when I was called by the Fulton County Department of Board Health to assist them in getting through the crowd. So thank you to uh, um, Eden Church, Pastor Pollard, and First Lady Pollard, and all of the volunteers that assisted, but we were inundated with a huge crowd. Now, with that being said, I do have a concern. Um, for me, it's not about what other cities are doing. It's about what we can do to help drive down the numbers and what we can do legally. And so my question will be to the city attorney. Um, uh, Brian Kemp, the governor, has put out a statement that these ordinances are not enforceable. Um, and so I do support uh, mandating masks um, and was uh, wanted to take my time to try to research what other cities are doing and, and how it's working for them. Um, because I don't believe in doing a copycat approach without trying to have all of the facts. Um, so my question to you, city attorney, is if we pass this ordinance today, um, as is, and I also want to add something else to the ordinance, if we can pass it, can this city enforce the ordinance? So Councilwoman, my preference would be to give you that response in executive session um, if you do move forward. I, anyone who would try to contest the ordinance, I wouldn't want to give them any information um, that would work against the city. So if you, we could go briefly to a breakout room and I can explain, um, we spoke about this briefly last meeting, but we were in the breakout room. So if we could go back there, that would be my preference. Otherwise, I, I understand, I understand it was spoken about, but subsequent of this uh, meeting, uh, Governor Kemp has made a, put out a statement that um, you know these ordinances are not enforceable. So I do understand if you're asking us to go into executive session, my Mr. I mean Mayor Edwards, that, can I make a motion for us to go into executive session? Just to, uh, before you before you do, uh, let me ask this of the of the uh, attorney for the record, uh, executive session on a special call meeting. Are we okay? You are okay as long as it's germane to the topic in the notice. Okay. Well, let me do this. I do hear you, Ms. Willis, and uh, let me acknowledge Ms. Gums, and then I'll, I'll deal with that, okay? Ms. I Gums, made a motion. I made a motion. It wasn't second. Uh, you didn't ask for a second. Well, if someone makes a motion, then someone has a second. I know I have to I ask. Moved. But let me, let, me, let me let you allow you to do that. You made a motion. Is there a second on Ms. Willis's motion? I'll second. second. I'll second, second. Ms. Willis's Councilwoman Willis's motion, Mayor. Who is seconding it? This is Councilman Khalid. Sorry, let me turn my camera. Uh, okay, good. It's been properly moved and second. Uh, is there any discussion? Ms. Gum, do you have something to say? Ms. Gum, I, I will wait mm -hmm. till we return. Okay. Uh, it's been properly moved and second. Uh, uh, Madam Clerk, uh, let's vote. Did we all vote? No, sir. 
Let's uh, go. Council Member Baker. I'm calling Aye. for the vote. Okay. Aye. Khalid. Yes. Rees. Nay. Gilliard. Well, uh, Willis. Yes. Gums. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay, that being carried, uh, Madam Clerk, let's go to the breakout room. Okay, it should be coming up in just a moment. You uh, joined the I, executive I session? Didn't get, no, it didn't tell me to do that. Hold it should on. be down at the bottom right. Hold on. I see it. Been moved and second. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, Madam Clerk? Raul? Yes. Gums? Yes. Willis? Yes. Gilliard? Second. Uh, any discussion? Gilliard? Yes. Okay. Uh, Reeves? Aye. Baker? Aye. Khalid? Yes. Yeah, okay. Motion passed. Okay, before we left, uh, Mrs. Ms. Gums, Council Member Gums was in the queue, followed so, by Council Member Helen Willis. Okay, so Mr. Mayor, I will forego my comments while we're in the process of going through this so we can make this really quick. Okay. <clears throat> All right. But I might change my mind. <laughs> okay. Councilwoman, Councilmember Willis. Um, yes. So I was reading the city of Atlanta's ordinance, and it also had a requirement to um uh, to mandate that people are not allowed in a space with 10 or more. Is there any way that we can um uh, put that type of language in this? And then also there was a concern that if we could um uh, of course, business owners, it was something that the chief said about if business owners did not, if employees were not um, masked up, could we cite business owners? Or think, yeah, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So those are my two questions. Um, can we put something in the ordinance to mandate that uh, within a certain, uh, with a certain space, square footage, that it has to be that no more than 10 people are allowed. And then, um, and I think that's how I read city of Atlanta's ordinance. And right. then um, the question about the uh, business owners when they okay. have staff that's not masked up. Okay, thank you so much. So Madam Clerk, those things that we had discussions on the last meeting, I think that uh, if you would bring, bring them up, that encompass what, what council member Willis is saying. And that she can either make a motion to um, to to amend it to what she'd like to see up and vote on it. So would the you? City, oh, the city attorney has it up on the screen. City attorney, those things that we talked about that we left at the last meeting, yes, which Mayor. I think, so, which would encompass Ms. Council Member Willis's comments. Yes, they they. I think they would. Um, if I could just show you cr briefly, quickly, what they are. So there was discussion. So the last copy that you received only placed restrictions on customers. And when I say customers, I'm also including visitors and delivery persons, but I'm just using the word customers. So the last copy you received had restrictions on customers to businesses and then on businesses themselves. There was discussion at your last meeting about adding a third category, which would be just for persons in general. Like if you were at a birthday party outside, if you were at a march, um, just people in general, regardless as to whether they were in a business or they were um, a customer. So I've added what you see in red. It says all persons in the city within six feet of any other person with whom they do not cohabitate. So this would put a requirement on this third group, which is people who are just outside within six feet of other people. Well, I, I would I would entertain a motion so we can get the discussion. I move to approve that. Second. We properly moved to second. Now we're in discussion. Uh, Council, I think Willis has said was on the queue, but no one's after Willis. Is anybody else? 
So are we all right? So we're all right with that. You want to vote on it? Hello? Yes. I'll uh, attend a motion, Ms. Willis, if you'd like to. That's, yeah. uh, uh, Mayor, uh, Council Member Khalid just made one, but are you going to vote on every item or just on the whole? Or the whole I, I think I, it was my, my, I thought we were going to vote on those things that we had probably last time, and then we'll vote on the, on the uh, ordinance in its entirety. Am I wrong? Am I wrong with that? No, you're not, Mayor. All right. So let's vote on it individually, and then we'll vote on the entire thing and be gone with it. Can I get someone? I'll entertain a motion on that one. Councilmember uh, Khalid, motion, and Councilmember Willis, second. Okay. Properly move the second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of that change? Wow. Aye. Gums? Aye. Willis? Aye. Gilliard? Yes. Reeves? Aye. Khalid? Aye. Baker? Aye. Motion okay, passes. That, that passes. Uh, Madam, Madam Attorney, the next one. Yes, Mayor. So the next one was item six. So there was discussion last meeting as to whether the exemption for people outdoors would include people specific people exercising or would you go broader? Uh, okay. So accept. I have made it to where it now goes broader and I've removed the words physical fitness. So now it gives an exemption to people who are outdoors for any purpose as long as they are not within six feet distance of another person with whom they don't cohabitate. I'll entertain a motion for the purpose of discussion. I'm going to make a motion that we actually keep physical fitness included. Uh, I, I don't think people in picnics, people sitting outside of restaurants, like all second. of the, but we, we, we need people to continue wearing masks. Okay, is there a second? Second. second. Well, if, can I, the, can I, if you keep physical fitness included, then it would limit it to physical fitness. So I know Councilwoman Gums made a birthday party example. Now it would include birthday parties, physical fitness, marches, anything outdoors. If you remove the words physical fit, if you keep the words physical fitness, then it only provides the exemption for physical fitness. I, I and I I stand by that. The latest guidance from uh, scientists are now saying that these particles can hang in the air. So unless you are exhaling and inhaling heavily, and you need to not have a mask on because you are in some. Uh, strenuous physical exercise, I think that we should ask people to wear masks. Well, Mr. Mr. Khalid's motion is on the floor. Any discussion? Hearing none, uh, let's vote. Council Member Baker. Nay. Khalid. Aye. Reeves. Nay. Gilliard. Nay. Willis? Can I, Mayor, I need clarification because I'm confused on this. Are we asking that we read that physical fitness is, are we voting on that physical fitness would not be an exemption? Is that what we're voting on? Madam Attorney? You are voting on making the exemption limited to physical fitness. Right. So in other words, if you approve the motion and and instead of having it stricken out, it will read physical fitness as it did last week. And so that means anybody who's exercising don't have to wear a mask. Correct. Oh, okay, no. Your your answer is no? No. So, so no, just to be clear, means oh. that anyone outdoors for any reason is now exempt from, from wearing a mask. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Then, I mean, my answer is yes. I think that... If Everybody should wear a mask outdoors. All right. Go ahead, Madam Clerk. That's a yes for Ms. Will. Thumbs? That would be a yes for me if that is the explanation, city attorney. But I thought that's not what we were saying. I do too. That's why I said no. Well, then, okay, hold up a minute. Then <laughs> stop here. Madam Attorney, will you clarify yeah. Mr. Khalid's motion? Yes, so Khalid's motion is to make this exemption specific to people who are exercising outdoors. 
So the alternative would be to create an exemption for anyone who's outdoors, like at a birthday party or et cetera, as long as they're not within six feet of someone else. But oh, what no. but what Khalid is is um, suggesting is to narrow the exemption strictly to people who were engaged in physical fitness. With that clarity, does anyone want to change their vote? I don't. If, if not, Madam Perry, of course, that's I do. I do, Councilman Baker. Okay, what you want to change your vote to, Mr. Baker? Yay. Okay. To make it clear for the record, Madam Clerk, will you start again with Mr. Baker and go down the line? Mr. Okay. Baker. Baker? Can y'all yeah. explain this one more time, Mayor? Because this is very confusing. I'm sorry. And I agree. Oh, no. Because if you have birthday parties, you don't think people should have masks on? Okay, so here's, here's the deal. Madam Clerk, Madam, I mean, Madam Attorney, uh, Ms. Gums and Ms. Willis, why don't you ask the specific thing uh, so we can try to uh, get the answer for you. Ask the other attorney. I'll, def I'll defer to our council member Gums first, and then if, if, if what she asked don't clarify for me, I'll ask my question. Ms. Gums, go ahead. So I'm just, I'm trying to get an idea. So if we have a gathering of 10 people they are outside. Of course, they're not engaging in physical activity based on the wording or, or verbiage of what we're saying. We're saying that they do not have to have a mask. No, they would Birthday have to parties, have picnics, anything of that nature, not just physical activities of running through the park or whatever. Okay, so, so right now, everyone outside who is within six feet of anybody who they don't cohabitate with would have to wear a mask. So that's what you just approved for number three. And then this vote is to create an exception to say that if you are doing X, then you also don't have to wear a mask. And that X right now, Khalid, uh, Councilman Khalid is suggesting that you limit that X to physical fitness. And the alternative would be to say, no matter what you're doing, you don't have to wear a mask as long as you're not within six feet of people who you don't cohab cohabitate oh, with no, if you're no, outside. No, no, no. Okay, hold up, hold up. Oh, Go ahead, Ms. Gums, you still have the floor. No, I, I think she cleared okay. it up. Okay, right. well, Ms. Willis. Unless Willis. I yield back to Ms. Councilwoman Willis just to make sure that we're on the So table. with this provision, it says person actively engaged in outdoor physical fitness activities Provided such person maintains a minimum of six feet distance from persons with whom they do not cohabit. So this is saying that if a person is engaging in physical fitness activities, if they are six feet away from a person, they don't have to wear a mask. Correct. And I'm saying I don't agree with that. So oh, I need. I'm sorry, that's not what that's saying. That's not that's what true. Said. The motion, the mayor, the motion wants the clarity. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So here's. Here's, so let's 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 just break it down in parts. Persons engaged in physical fitness. What I am saying is that if you are engaged in physical fitness, you do not have to wear a mask. Yes. Any other outdoor activity, you do have to wear a mask. The only exception. Now, this is the right side of the period. I mean, the right side of the the first. Uh, comma, provided such persons, blah, 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 with people they don't co cohabitate with. What I am saying is, unless you're engaged in physical fitness or you're with your family, you have to wear a mask. By striking physical fitness, we are saying that you would not have to wear a mask if you're outdoors doing other things. I think where people are getting tripped up is uh, provided you're uh, within six feet of people with whom they cohabitate. So throughout this resolution, what we're saying is we're making exceptions for families. If you are with your husband and your child, there is an exception throughout this ordinance. Right. So, so just skip that part because throughout this ordinance, it's, if you're with people that you live with, there are exceptions. So skip all of that. What we're focused on right now is when do you not have to wear a mask 
And, it, and what I'm saying is the only time you should not be wearing a mask is if you're engaged in physical business. That's exactly what he's saying. Well, actually, if I could clarify, because of your vote that you just made, if you are alone, you don't have to wear a mask. Like right. if you're in the at the park and there's no one around you, right? then you don't have to wear a mask. So if you're by yourself, yes. if you're exercising, or if you're with your family, you do not have to wear a mask. Out Correct. There. Those are the only exceptions. If you're by yourself, if you're exercising, or if you're only with your family. In right. all other instances, I am saying you should be wearing a mask. Is everyone clear with the make of the motion? Yeah, very clear. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This once again, I want to make. I want to take another vote just for the perfection of the record, Madam Clerk. Would you do that? Councilmember Baker. Abstain. <laughs> Councilmember Cleve. Aye. Councilmember Reeves. Aye. Councilmember Gilliard. Come back to me. She can't go. Come back to Can you do that? No, yeah. I can't. This is a vote. You have to vote. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. Um I'm just I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted with the new with the new because of the new rules. Okay, so we've had we've had three discussions. Oh no, 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 no. No, okay. So your vote is no. My vote is no. Council Member Willis. Um no. I'm sorry. No. Council Member um, Gums. No. Council Member Rao. Yes. You don't have an affirmative vote. You got three yes, three no's, and one abstention. Mr. Mayor, can I can I speak? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, so I just want to be clear. I was. In number six, I was calling for three exceptions. You're alone. Well, I'm not. And that's actually number three. But but where it's where it stands now, what I was calling for is there were only three exceptions. You're alone. You are exercising, or you are with your we family. Are, we understand. What we have now Mr. done. Oh, wait, oh, I just, oh. if I could just. What we have now done is we've created a fourth exception. You're alone you're exercising, you're with your family, or you're just outside having a picnic or a march, or you're sitting outside of a restaurant. We created a, a, a dozens of exceptions now. If you are okay. outdoors for any reason. Okay. Well, the motion has been carried. I, wanna, I just want people to be clear yeah, about what you're gonna move on. The motion has been carried. Okay. Madam Attorney, uh, do we have to, is, because that motion failed, do we have to accept the motion as written in the, in the uh, in the ordinance? No, because it failed, my suggestion would just be to delete six. Yes. Okay, I'll take a motion on that. I'll make a motion Mayor. to delete six. Okay, I get you. I get you, Ms. Willis. Uh, is there a second? Second. Probably move the second. Ms. Willis, go ahead. So if we delete six, I, I, I guess, and I apologize, and I and I and I have to agree with uh, Councilmember Gilliard. This is very confusing. Um if we delete six, does that mean that, is it true with, uh, and I'm, I'm addressing this to Attorney Walker, does that mean that people can protest and not wear masks, people can have family birthdays and not wear masks? Is that is that what this is saying? Is that true? No, if you delete six, then what that will mean is that item three will stand for everything. Right. And yeah. okay. if you're in the city and you're outdoors, and you're within six feet of someone who you do not hope cohabitate right. with, you have to wear a mask. Absolutely. Right. So now okay, so if, if we delete, if, if we delete number six, if yeah. I am out jogging in the park by myself, yeah, I have to have a mask. Yeah, wear a mask. Okay, so the only thing, man, do, do you mind if I clip if I say something? Go right ahead, man. The only thing that I have a problem with in six 
is I is if a family is out having a picnic and they can't they don't have to wear a mask. I I I'm uncomfortable with that because I, because I have read where particles people could put stuff in the air and it travels and it stays for minutes. So that's the problem I have. I don't I don't I agree with the workout and I'm and I'm shaky on that too. And I agree with that if you alone, but then that for for somebody to be able to have a whole picnic, a whole family, and then they not wear masks, I'm not, I don't agree with that. Okay. So, so ma'am, it's no so, longer an issue. No, the uh, uh, there is there is there is the conversation was whether to delete six or not. I would entertain a motion. You have a motion on the floor. Yeah, have a motion. Okay. And any, we're in discussion. Any, any further discussion? Yeah. Yes. So if the if the maker of the motion um, is amenable, I'm just wondering if we could say we strike six, but in number three, all persons in the cities within six feet of any other person with whom they do not cohabitate. And I guess just somewhere make the exception for physical fitness. Is that allowable? I, 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 I think that's a separate motion. But I'm. I think that's not a bad suggestion. Well, because the way we you have it written, if you get rid of six, if a person is physically right. exercising and they're not next to anyone, they wouldn't have a requirement to wear a mask. Because they if said you only have six. to wear a mask if you're within six feet of another person. Right. Understood. Okay. Okay. Understood. Right. So so any, any further discussion? Hearing none. Let's vote, please, Ms. Cl Madam Clerk. Okay, the motion on the floor is to, is to delete uh, number six under exceptions. Councilmember Rao. Yes. Councilmember Gums. Yes. Councilmember Willis. Yes. Gilliard. Yes. Reeves. Aye. Khalid. Yes. Baker. Yes, thank Okay. Abstain. Yeah, he abstained. Motion passes. Okay, Madam Madam Attorney, what's next? Mayor, um, there was discussion about the fine. I didn't make any change to it, but if anyone has um about what, ma'am, I didn't hear you. About the the, the fine, the okay, with, yes. the warning yes. and then the sec second violation being a hundred dollars. Let's deal with that. Um uh, Anyone want to make a suggestion? I personally like to stagger it. I, I, I would like to still make the motion that we would waive the first occurrence of the fine if an offender comes to court with either a COVID test or a mask. Okay, is there a second? All right. That fails for lack of a session, sec a second. Anyone else? Would the maker of the motion consider um, if they can provide proof of a mass? That motion failed. You have to give another motion. Okay. Yeah, that failed for okay. lack of vote. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to leave, I'm sorry. Okay, ma'am. Um, I, I make a motion that for the first offense that it, it can, uh, they can provide uh, proof that they have a mask. The second offense. The second offense, I'm sorry. I second. Properly moved the second discussion. Yes, Mayor, I thought that that oh, motion was, Mayor, I thought that motion was made in the first motion and it failed. So can we come back and make the-, the uh, No, it this, this is a new motion. It's a separate motion. This is a separate motion. This is a new motion. Okay. But it was the same thing. Well, it was it? the same right. thing, Mayor. It had Excuse two me. parts. Excuse to me. It. Excuse me. Madam Attorney, would you pan on that, please? Yes, this is a separate motion. It's completely separate than the one that failed. Okay. <clears throat> Any further discussion? So this is same. And this I'm vote. typing what the motion was. It says the request was the, to have the matter dismissed by the court clerk prior the court date upon showing evidence of obtaining a mass or securing a mass. Okay. No. Let's, vote. Let's vote. Yes. 
Mayor, we was trying to clarify um, the motion, if it's okay. Well, she read it. You want to clarify? It? You want to read it again, Madam? I mean, Miss Willis. You said this motion that we're voting on now. What is this for? This is someone. If somebody is issued a, what is it? Can somebody repeat? Can the? Can yeah, you look uh, at the screen? It's on the screen. In red, I've put. I've typed it in. So it's the second offense you'll be subject to a $100 fine. And then if you look in the red, that's the motion. But they okay. have the, the matter dismissed by the court clerk at and or prior to court. <laughs> upon showing evidence that the violator has secured a math. Okay. Okay, let's vote, please. Councilmember Baker. Councilmember Baker. Aye. Khalid. Aye. Reeves. Aye. Uh, Gilgard has left. No, I'm yeah. here. I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. Willis. Yes. Gums. Yes. Wow. Yes. Motion passes. Madam, Madam Attorney, I was, anything else outstanding? Yes, just the effective date. Right now, it right. reads tomorrow at noon. Okay. I move to approve it for tomorrow at noon. Second. second. Properly moved and second in discussion. Yes. Not, who, is, who am I talking to? Who? Council Member Baker. Okay, Mr. Baker, go ahead. Discussion for this me. It's a tricky motion because it's actually saying, are we approving the time to make it effective or are we approving it in its entirety to actually be accepted as an ordinance? I think it's time to make it effective, but we're going to go and have another motion to accept the whole ordinance. Yeah, so this is specific this to the is effective date. On the time in which it would start if the ordinance is accepted in its entirety in a future motion tonight. Correct. That's correct. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, who else did I hear? Can we vote? I gotta go. There ain't none. Ms. Ms. Let's... Uh, uh, discussion. Okay, go uh, ahead. Under enforcement, the second sentence. Um... I'm concerned about the effective date if, in fact, we are saying that officers may also provide, and I'm, I understand the word is may, but I, based on the city's resources, I don't know that we should include that in there. Well, Man, at I'm this point in time, the motion, the, the, the motion that's on the floor has to deal with effective date. Uh, right, but I'm saying if we don't have the supplies, and I understand it says May, but people are hearing this discussion. I just think we should, well, you can carry the motion, but I think we need to look at that. Well, I think all. what the mayor is saying is that if you vote on this, then you can get to the next, that that item that you're discussing. Okay. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. fine. Yeah. May. Uh, I'm going to entertain a, a, a word from Ms. Willis and then we're going to vote. Yeah, so in the next item, are we discussing, I think we should leave May in it in case if we do get resources to provide masks okay. then this ordinance is not um being put to be punitive but to encourage people to wear masks and most cities are providing masks to residents okay. instead of okay. inside of them let's get this motion passed and we'll go talk about somebody and i'll entertain a motion for the whole deal so uh we have a second and the, the, on the motion let us uh vote please madam clerk wow the motion is to uh, accept the acceptance, the effective date, July the 11th at 12 p.m. That is correct. Councilmember yeah. Rao. Yes. Jones. Yes. Willis. Yes. Gilliard. Yes. Reeves. Aye. Khalid. Yes. Baker. Nay. Motion, okay. pa motion passes. Uh, now I will entertain a motion to pass the uh, ordinance in its entirety. I move that we uh, I move that we uh, pass the uh, mandate to wear a mask in the city of South Fulton um, legislation emergency ordinance. Second, okay. with the changes. With the, with, with the, the changes. changes. Yeah. 
So can I go uh, back and restate my order? Yeah, I'm restate a, so it can be we're correct. In discussion now. Go ahead. Okay, I move that we approve this mandate of mass ordinance with the changes. Second. Thank you. Okay. Property move the second. Discussion. Yes. Wow. Go ahead. Um, my point is Baker. one of the things, one of the things that uh, okay, this Mr. ordinance. Baker, one of the things this ordinance is doing again, May, um, do we have the supplies again to get the officers? I don't disagree with Council Woman uh, Willis said that we may have supplies, but um, you know, it may not be coming through the officers. It might come through the council, whatever the means. I just think, especially since that's one of the things that they can cure an issue of non-violation and thinking about our resources, I just, I don't think that should be there. Okay, I mayor. Mean, what, what is your recommendation? I'm just saying, if you have them, fine. But I just wouldn't, I, I right. wouldn't put it in there. It's okay. one of the ways to cure a violation. That's all. All right. Anyone mayor, else? I, yes, I was in the queue. I think we should leave it in there. The word "may" um, suffices. If they have them, they can provide them. If they don't, then they they can't provide them. I think it leaves a, a option. So if we do have, if we do get resources, I mean, we, they, we, they, they will be able to provide them. So I like okay. there. So I'm not going to agree to change. Right. And Any a, further discussion? Yes, I have discussion there. Um, I think Mr. Baker, hold up. Mr. Baker, I think you wanted to say yeah. something. Mr. Baker. Go ahead, Mr. Khalid. Uh, we, it wasn't. Go ahead, Ms. Khalid, I'll get back with you. Okay. Um, I can't see the entire ordinance, but there was discussion about um, businesses and employees, and I just, uh, it, it, it's, it's section number two. Um, and having face-to-face -face interactions with the with the yeah. public within such establishment. So right. I just want to be clear that we are only we would only find businesses if their employees were not wearing masks. That's correct. Madam Attorney, your employees were not wearing a mask and were having a face-to-face -face interaction with a member of the public. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right, Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Yes, Mr. Mayor, can you hear me? I hear you. Okay, I know I have feedback and I apologize because this is the way this is set up. But uh, I do have some issues with uh, this ordinance and I have to let it be known. Um, first of all, I think that um, by executing this ordinance, it's a gray area. Uh, as we just were able to notice, as council people, it's kind of confusing. Uh, many of us, were uncertain as to what we were legislating on several issues, on several uh, amend, amended versions of this ordinance. Uh, that's one. Another thing is, I believe we should be legislating the business owners to mandate that people come into their stores wearing a mask as opposed to the general public when we're not providing everybody in the public with a mask. I think that uh, it kind of correlates when I used to work for Fulton County Schools and they had uh, this thing where they wanted the kids to wear uniforms. And if they did not provide the uniforms, they couldn't mandate it because we're asking the public to have something um, that we're not furnishing. And okay. given the, the climate of law enforcement right now, and uh, I think we're just putting our officers in a really bad situation uh, that we haven't discussed enough. Um, I know that they're up to the task to, to, to follow through with whatever we legislate, but I just really feel like we're putting them in a situation with the public uh, that could possibly become volatile in some situations. Um, I also feel ultimately that it's the legality of it may ultimately be an issue. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that we've been encouraging social distancing. I am for people wearing masks. But if I don't have a mask to give you and we're not 
changing laws regarding poverty or, or, or providing these things to make people have what they need to be in the public, uh, it, it just doesn't feel right. Albeit, I think we should practice social distancing. I think we should stay at home uh, as much as we can, even if, especially if we're sick. But uh, to actually mandate this uh, and put our law enforcement in an already bad climate uh, out there to attempt to enforce things that are so great, it only leads to more uh, African-American people, especially in our city, having to just have interaction with our law enforcement officers. And I think that uh, we're, we're, we're kind of hasting to uh, judgment with this. And uh, I think it's a bad decision. All right, Madam right. Clerk. Thank you, sir. Madam Clerk, let's vote, please. And can I clarify that your vote will change the educational establishments if you vote in favor? I just want you to see the change I've made and educational establishments. I think we need to clarify that in light of number three. Uh, I, I don't I don't approve that. Well, I don't think we have jurisdiction to require um, the schools to wear masks. We don't have the right to do that. Am I correct? That's correct. So I just I, I think we probably because so we've added number three. Be in, we have no right to do that. So I, I just want to be. I'm sorry. I'm talking out of turn. No, go ahead. Uh, have we're gonna take you. Uh, Mr. Khalid, then we're going to get Ms. Ms. Willis and we're going to vote. I have a question. I, 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 uh, so there, so so there are a couple of there there are a couple of things. Um, one, uh, just to respond to Councilman Baker, I would hope uh, that in any law that we enact, uh, police have uh, the opportunity to to give discretion. We right. provided a great deal of discretion in this law that for the first two occurrences, there may be no fine whatsoever. And, okay. and the police will have discretion if, if someone is indigent and really cannot afford a mask. I mean, I, I, I would like to think that our city of South Fulton police officers are, um, are sensitive to that. I, I do not think that we can shift the burden of enforcement from police to businesses. That would be unfair to businesses. There have been instances I think we've all seen where people in businesses have asked people to wear masks and, and have been subject to violent responses uh, by certain individuals. I, I would like to note that, well, I, I have, so I have, I have two questions. Um, my first question, is I, I understand that we cannot mandate what happens inside Fulton County school buildings, but there are all kinds of educational establishments. There are real estate schools. There are uh, you know, private uh, uh, certificate medical programs that people operate in the city. And so if we're, if we're exempting all, all educational establishments, I'm not clear about that. And then, and, and lastly, when businesses, um, when businesses have, I'm sorry, someone's cutting grass outside my window. Uh, when, when businesses call for police because there are people in the business that are not wearing masks. It's my understanding that in general, after a certain number of calls, I think it might be like 16 or 12 or whatever, that businesses can be, uh, I can't, I can't think of the word now, but, but there, is, there can be a, a penalty for businesses who call police too often. And, True. and, I, and, I, and I wouldn't wanna see uh, business owners with legitimate concerns who are, who are calling about this issue be penalized because they call too many times. And, and so those are just two questions that I have. All right. Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Mr. Mayor. Excuse me, excuse me. Everybody's jumping in now. We're trying to do this thing and get out of here. I have I have Miss Willis and I have Miss Rao and we need to move forward. And so I haven't I'm talked that much, before, Mr. Mayor. Before other council people speak, if if the if our attorney could address those two issues, I will allow that, Madam Attorney. Could you expeditiously address that? So the first the first I understood was the educational component. 
And I, I wouldn't recommend treating, if, if you're gonna give an educational exception for anyone, I would say to, to treat them the same. Right. And I know that you're giving it to Fulton County Schools because of the um, legal hardship in regulating them. But I, I do think that if you're going to make an, an exception for, for educational institutions, it should be equally applied. Okay, okay uh, let me go to Ms. Willis. question about the penalties for uh, businesses that are calling about this. Well, businesses can require a customer to leave um, for any purpose. So if, if, a, if, a, if a business called the police, then I, my preference would be to cite them for trespass versus citing under this ordinance. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Because it's a... All right. Ms. Willis? Yeah, so I would like to say, you know, how do we get here? How, why do we have laws? We have laws because people don't want to follow rules. We would not be sitting here fr uh, on a Friday, six o'clock in the afternoon, if people would just simply wear, they ma wear their masks. But we're here because people would not comply with the rules. They don't care about endangering their lives. They don't care about endangering other people's lives. So we're here and mandating that people wear masks because they will not wear masks. So I just would like to move the question because it doesn't matter at this point. You know, at this point, I think we're all nitpicking. I think we have the votes to make this a law. Um, I do have concerns around, you know, uh, the legality around it, but that was addressed in executive session. So I move the question. Um, Ms. Gilliard is saying she has to go. Um, and I mean, it's no sense in continuing to debate this. Let's just move on. Madam, I mean, Madam Par Parliamentarian, is it right that you cannot move the question and speak at the same time? So because she has started speaking, well, so I think, I don't think that's the case here because she moved, she was explaining her reasoning for moving the question. So it wasn't okay. like she was talking about a separate topic and then decided that's usually, to. Because I have my red book and my red book says I can, well, I, I can explain I know, why no, I'm no, the red book say, I'm just saying. I'm City just saying, attorney, your uh, screen is showing. You may want to take that off of the screen. If yeah, you're yeah okay. my red book okay, is so, Robert so, Rose's so, order. Excuse me, everybody. She moved the question. I want to know why I can't talk. All right. She moved the question. <laughs> is uh, So all debate stops. Second. All right. So, do I? I need a motion on the on the. I don't need the motion on the on the movement of the question, right? You do. Cosby right. wants to second it. I was asking the attorney for make sure she gets on the record what she Correct. said. Correct. You would need the motion on the second. Okay. The Is there question. a second to move the yes. question? A second. Okay. 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 Let's vote, please. Let's vote, please, Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk. This is on the entire ordinance, correct? Right. Yes. No, this is on moving the previous question. Yeah, moving the, the previous question. Okay. Th that's what this is, yes. Okay, yes. Madam Clerk, go ahead. Ralph. Yes. Jones. Yes. Willis. Yes. Gilliard. I'm not voting. Reeves. Aye. Khalid. Yes. Baker. Nay. Right, would, motion you read, passes. Would, you, would you would you uh read the previous question, please? Speak the previous please. question is motion to adopt motion. the ordinance. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Motion to adopt the ordinance mandating a wearing of masks with the changes. Uh motion okay. by Willis. Count, uh, Council Member Willis, seconded by Council Member Gums. Let's vote, please. Baker. Nay. Khalid. Aye. Reeves. Aye. Gilliard. No. Willis. Yes. Gums. Yes. Rao. Yes. Motion passes. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn, please. 
I'm I'm make, make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> second. <laughs> it's been properly moved and second in discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 This meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. Forever.